Port users are gearing up for a showdown with uh, terminal operators and shipping companies at the Lagos seaports. They are calling for the shutdown of the seaports if op port operators insist on collecting demorage and storage charges in spite of the directive not to do so by the port's authority. Ifunaya is it takes it from here. In view of the presidential order that seaports remain open during the ongoing lockdown to contain the spread of the coronavirus pandemic, the managing director, Nigerian Ports Authority, had earlier directed terminal operators and shipping companies to grant waivers on demorage and storage charges to encourage consignees to take delivery of cargoes from the ports. We have um, notified the terminal operators for them to give rent-free days. In fact, this was even before the lockdown happened. We've also um, engaged with them on the level of cushion we're going to provide them. The federal government will look at the amount that they forfeited by giving you rent-free and government would, would um, provide them with the necessary cushion by reimbursing them through credit. But Fred Forwarding practitioners are saying that port operators are frustrating the clearance of cargoes from the seaports. They complain of being exploited through transactional delays caused by port operators. Mass client, they have two, only two staff attending to people here, and they're operating from India. We are the one operating from here. They cannot give us the receipt. They cannot allow us to go and take our cargo from the port. Come to the 21 days they give, go, federal government has said that we should, they should give us a, as a grant for this, uh, this uh, COVID-19. They have not done that. They continue giving us the bill note to pay. You make payment for an invoice. It will take Mastline two good weeks to respond to your invoice for them to give you a receipt of payment. And then within that two weeks, they are still charging you detention. Irrespective of the fact that the federal government has said, waive 21 days for both essential goods and non-essential goods. But they are not acting to that um, effect. The problem posed by banks not working optimally in compliance to facilitating port operations is also an issue for contention. The banks are not working to full capacity. And there's no way we can work here without the banks. So we are saying if the banks cannot operate, let everybody sit down at home and wait until after the lockdown. As it stands now, there is a disconnect in cargo clearance processes at the Lagos seaport, especially with banks not working and the refusal of terminal operators and shipping companies to comply with the directive to grant waivers on demorages and storage charges. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.